Good day, lords and ladies, and welcome back to Wilder Myth from Econist Knight. Right, let's set up this. As we take on the final boss, let's set up this Syndic. Fadina, now, now's the time. Look at this thing. Were you really around all this time? Clambering up its slick neck. Fendina unseals Velda's earthenware bottle. Just pour it on, on the thing. Don't see any pour hole. She douses the petrified head of the gold beast, Mortone, in a spicy, sweet smelling elixir. It's not working, is it? Ah oh, well, we're out of time. Ultrix is here. So many of those tumble tumultuous years I floundered for a reason, but ultimately I knew why I was there. Ulstrix forced us to become what who we became. It was his dream, his design. When the first land was raised from the fold to the sea, two worlds were born out, out of one. To Ulstrix, a mighty and arrogant Gorgon hero, this was the cre creation's, creation's mistake and his dream. He dreamed to mend it. Very little has been known of the things that serum and skull beneath black waves. We know the Gorgons are old, so maybe they aren't easily moved. My valiant hopes, we threw him some surprises. But it's impossible, we were his fools from the very beginning. We unpulsed the stone and chased that spear of Petagras. We struck a blow, I think, in taking it. But our gra Grubbling plunder of the Gorgon heirloom gave him a story to tell, and our race cost, our race cost, uh, sorry, our race cast as the scrabbling villains. Incited, his Gorgon brethren together rose behind him to him, into up his gentle god. And the ocean rose, why the rains fell, and the ice of the world turned to melt. For a while, I'm sure he believed his dream would replace reality. The rain stopped, but it won't. Ultrix, this mighty lord of Gorgon, scarred and strong, hurls his underlings before him and raises himself high, preparing to fight. Here they come. Oh boy. That's a lot. Right. Discus. Right. Formation. Please. Okay. Shoot him. Because he's a massive threat. Because he'll rend for our armor. For Mason, please. You need to get shot. Something bad comes. Dodged it. They're going to push. She's pinned. That's a lot of them. And there's the big guy. Slash him open, please. My goodness, he's got a lot of armor. Right, infuse. What's this? Discus. Discus, discus. Okay. He cor uh, Gorgon Corruption. Ah, uh, he's got to take damage and I can't get him out of the area. Fall back. Poison him. Those two are pinned. Okay. Go here. Just gonna have to try and take the brunt of it. It's more than turning up. Oh, he's a big one. Kill him, please. Pinned again. He took damage. 
He took damage. Okay. Can I at least attack? Took him out. She can't move. At least we did for him. Oh, even more. Okay. Get that one. God, this one's a... annoying. I just can't get him out of the out of the muck. Right, he's free. Fall back. You can kill that that guy. Swap weapon and hit him, please. Let's get this one and we'll go... Yes, that will do. Ah, oh, they summoned more troops. At least we got rid of his armour. Out comes the big bloke. He's throwing them at us now. Okay. Okay, we'll go this one and we'll do him. He took 10 damage to his armor's gone. You need to get up here. Kill that guy. And take a chunk out of this one. You need to suit him. She's pinned. You might be able to kill him this turn. Take care of him, though, because he's going to charge us. Man, there's just so many of them coming. Oh, he's bad damage. Come on, we can do this. We won't lose anyone if you can just hold. He's nourished. Move here. Yes! He dies. Whew, that was close. The almighty Ultrix finally crumbles before us, his reeking corpse twisting still, it's over. Some would say we saved the world, and we did save the ember of it. We cobbled, we cop, we copped this red coal of life, held it away from the water, carried it into the next morning. Of our wreckage loss, destruction, it would take time for the water to go down, for the memories to lose their bite, to rebuild to heal, and maybe to live new lives someday, but our story was just one of many. Snuff. The end. Final population, 616. Number of towns, 3. Safe tiles at the end of the game, 23. Previous, previous years of peace, 20. Final years of peace, 114. Total, 134. Odd Mark built a lot to attract like-minded hunting enthusiasts. Days were spent tracking in the woods and nights were spent extravagating what they attract in the woods.
John gathered as many companion of the companion stories as he could and then enlisted Old Mark to illustrate them. Ah, I remember that one. Nicely done. Calm Fox. Calm Fox Blind didn't make it onto any many maps until Ferdina and Ardmark brought it in a two brought in a two-headed bear one morning, but then everyone started showing up, testing their skills and asking for advice. Gerville got up to see the sun rise every morning. Wouldn't you rather sleep in? And take a sing and take a single one of these for granted? I think there's supposed to be a story here, but it may have glitched out. Yeah, it's definitely glitched that one, that panel. That's a shame. Or not? Hmm, I do not know. But I do love this game. As some people have said, they would like some more music variation. I agree. Um, but I do love the, the story tell, being told out here of our previous party and their adventures. Whoa, it's amazing. Thanks for bringing me. It's interesting, you see the characters age and change with time. Dana lost sleep, spending whole weeks watching a scolding hovel. She wondered always when a disturbing secret might spill out. But weariness woke works both ways. I sleep quite well myself, says Vendina. Ah, oh, that was because Vendina was collecting bits of creatures. Yeah. Well, she had a point. Like, if one of your companions starts collecting strange bits of monsters, who knows? Dana developed a passion for restoring ruined sites. She rented out the finished sites travellers at a decent nightly rate. Ah, good for her. And that was the tale of the Order of the Fork. As you can see, these heroes will be added to your legacy. Dana, Diana, John, John Iron, Fidina, and Pellwump. Um... Hap Mill already in the legacy as a folk hero and Blackway like Ardmark Blackway already in the legacy as in legacy as a folk hero so they won't be joining us because they're already there. Promoting promote legacy hero. Choose one hero to promote. The selected hero will move to the legacy uh, next legacy tier and their new items, history and abilities will come with them. But the higher hero's legacy tier, more abilities to hit hero come into the game with. So, for example, if we take Heart Mill, she'll go from Folk Hero to Local Legend. Or if we take Dana, she'll go... Yeah, so basically it's the same thing. I'm really tempted to upgrade Harp, Harp a Mill to Local Legend because she has some really good gear. Or Fendina. Fendina's a nice one to have. But I think I'm going to take Harp a Mill. Dane Harp a Mill. Or maybe Ardmark. It means they have better starting gear, and he'll come in with higher gear. Yeah, let's go with Ardmark, go with local legend. Yeah, because he'll get all this stuff. Promote. The elemental, the mental weapons discovered in this game has been unlocked in your legacy, and we'll be able to craft it in all future games. So if you go to our legacy, we select... See, some of them have this. For example, John has the spear. He has the spear, he has some of his abilities, which are nice. Um, but for example, so we go with him, and he'll come into that. It's really nice. See, there's Dana, she was as a level 1. If we'd promoted her, she would have gone into like that. Some of them have nice stuff. Some of them have their pets, which is... I, I, love, the, I love the fact that the bunnies will be following us into the next game, which is always sweet. Some of them have companions, some of them don't. Some of them have peg legs. Got a leg taken off. It's a shame, but... Got a bit smashed up. Yep. The 
story of Blackwall, or Blackway, Ardmark Blackway. It's a local legend, which means he's the next hit up, which is nice. Accomplishments. So this is basically how the game develops. Is that you have your developing legacy of heroes. Um, what I would love to do is I'd love to get better at the game enough to actually divine, uh, build my own stories. I'm not good at programming and you need a little bit of understanding of how to like write the code and stuff for to do the events and everything, which is a saying because I'd love to do it. One day I may just set, settle down and just learn how to do it so I can actually build a story that we can play through. And if we still there's still other stories left undone, there's um, basically well this basically tells you how to do it a campaign to teach you how to make a campaign. It's not like completed. We still have the Enduring War, which is basically this version of the five chapters. And um, there's still these two outstanding campaigns to be. As you can see, they're, they're intending to add a lot more content just from this, and they can always expand, expand it. And they have said that they're intending to basically, like, the amount of stuff they can put in, like, story-wise, is unlimited. So I really hope that the developers continue to put out content um, after the full release. They do, they do intend to, but I want, I would love to see, like, new factions, like, larger longer stories the game changes a lot between fr a three chapter story and a five chapter story um these three chapter five chapter stories sprawling five chapter campaign promote two legacy heroes if you win only procedural events no overarching villain story it's the same because one of the really strong things about this game is the narr narr um like the narrative story because it's basically dnd i love this this is basically a dnd campaign in first like a single player which is brilliant for me as a, as a, someone who loves D&D. We are going to do the Enduring War next. A century old war resurfaces bring with questions of humanity, identity and the price of ambition. A five chapter story of, with more the Morphagi as the main threat which are basically sort of like the robots like the undead robot things. Um, I'm going to say this now I have never been able to beat this five chapter campaign because the way the game works is very different in a five chapter to a three chapter and you can see, you will see why. So let's dive in. We're going custom, which is basically combat difficulties JK Rowling, which is standard. And I'm gonna go Overland, Overland difficulty, most of your controls the pace of calamities and time pressure on the overland map and the frequency of infestations and incursions can be end up having a bigger impact on com than on combat 52 because of calamities i'm going to stick with this because i want to sew off the five chapter content which is a lot different um so we're going to do that we're going to randomize our people so let's see uh bookish poet Let's see if we can find someone who's interesting. Decisive Romantic. That's a nice one to have. I have a Decisive Romantic. You always get a Warrior, a Hunter, and a Mystic. Hot-Headed Goofball. Yeah, let's go with a whole female party this time. That'd be nice. Um, aloof greed wagon. Uh, I don't like greed wagon. Snarky leader. Hmm. Let's see. Compassionate poet. That would be interesting for a mystic. Have a whole female party. Yeah, let's go with that. One thousand years ago, disturbances. A woman ha ha stands over a table. Israel and the initial limbs. The initial limbs were a success, and I am confident the promise is sound. The thought of that sickens, sick and sickness taking you first is too much to bear. We can ride this out together. We can endure. Zabon, you can't be serious, mutters Israel. A click. 
as the light goes off. There were things they told us of, things that were souls that walked in forgotten places, following orders from centuries ago. Don't linger in caves, don't delve too deep. Could could be Mortfaggy Morfaggy down there. Other legends, like the Lady of Screams, they were intriguing, beautiful even, but something like that. Uh Nightjaw was always our go-to threat growing up. Now that was a monster. And things in the dark can be left unseen. So it sees our Melina, Umelina, Umelina, and Malisa, Melissa. And that's Rosalie. Rosalie, you hear a groan behind you. Until suddenly, they can't. Everyone stares. It groans out. Run. And it runs, thunders past them. What the? What was that? Oh, Melina grabs a log. We'll figure out later, says Rosalie, as more robots, as more monsters come crawling out the woodwork and into the village. They may not bleed, but let's see if they can die, says Marcia Lee. Melise. Oh, Melina, grab whatever you can, swing and come on. Right there with you. No sewing off, no, no sewy stuff, just do the thing. Wait. What were you thinking I was gonna do, says Umelina. Let's see if we can get that get at them from multiple sides. So we've got a sput spectic a spectic and a sumilla. Gears click and knuckles crack. Its one grasping claw reaches and strains, hissing tubes and gulping pump. It teeters forward on spring spindly legs, trailing virulent vapours. Okay. Let's see if we can get this one. Right, blocked. That's not good. Wait, aren't you my mystic? Oh no, you're still a farmer. Oh boy, this is gonna suck. And, um, yeah. Ouch. Oh, this could go really badly wrong. Um, well, let's try and buy ourselves, our associates, some breathing room. Let's fall back. Damage it. That's gonna hit me. Don't hit me. Don't hit me. She dodged. Excellent. Okay. You go and punch it in the face, please. My goodness, this is bad. Okay. Um. Yep. Yep. This is not good. Because um, if we move, it's going to run past us, so you're going to have to hold here. Oh no! She goes down. Marcely bellows in agony. Her left arm was severed. I have to fall back. I'll fight another day. So this is the maiming mechanic, folks. Oh no, good to continue. Win this one for me. And we've already lost a party member. As I was saying, these guys are no joke. Oh, 
Oh, this is bad. He blocks. No! Could to get there and shoot her. Oh, this is just bad. You've already got a party member whose arm is ripped off. We're victorious, but one of our party members is incapacitated. Becomes a warrior. Yeah, let's get battle done. So attacking and attacking, attacking and attacking actions only cost one action. Um, team becomes ranger. Reach the counters all range attacks against her. Yeah, let's do archery. And she's got, you can see how her arm has been cut off. Um, let's see. Yeah, let's go open-minded. We've got a necklace, which is distant health. Since she's going to be melee, predominantly, let's give that to her. Remember, folks, once you put items on, you can't get rid of them. Can't be very well going back to sweeping cobblestones after that, says Umelina. It's true, your darkest hours settle in, and suddenly becoming a dedicated warrior seems natural. This, is, this would take more than one or two brave souls, though. All of all who join in this mission shall unite under a new name, more far-reaching than any of our own, and that name shall be... The Mares of the Rose of the Rose Black. The, man, the Mantis Stewards. The Scorpions of the Wavering Wheat. Yeah, let's go with the Mares of the Rose Black. Of, roses, of the Roses Black. And suddenly, if it's always been in the it been this way, it follows tales of the mares of the roses black, and they got a card. How fantastic! And she's injured. For how long? I do not know. But we need a new party member quickly. So she's healing. We'll grab her quickly. We have some legacy points, but not many. We could pick a legacy from our like list of people if you wanted to. Go for our list of previous associates and grab someone to help us. We could get um we could get a whole list of people. We could get Blackway if you wanted to. It cost us five legacy points to get him, though. He started with Embr Embrance and Amber Arrow. We could get um, Dana. Bring Dana in. We could get a whole bunch of people. Obviously, the downside of getting all of this is as quite clearly demonstrated it takes a lot more act a lot more legacy points to have one of these guys come in so it's tempting just to get a loan like a new recruit decisive uh, let's randomize poetic loner yeah let's go with her recruit her one day in the pub you're back i saw you leave a while ago I did, but the yondering lands vast and the enemy is tangled is tangled and tight. And another soul to stand against darkness would be make this more but feel more heroic and less crazy. Are you interested? I don't know. It's either that or mop around here and probably get roped to repairing old Farlwen's goat pen or something. And Afwen yammers on more than the rest of the town combined. Something to consider. And then she paused and gave me this look and said, Oh, goat's milk is fine. And if you want to lie to someone face about a goat, you better pick someone else because... And the yammering continues. And this keeps yammering and yammering until she snaps back to reality. You're considering it? I am. So you're in? Sigh, alright. What sort of skills do you need the most? 
Now, what do we want? My Mystic is really badly hurt, so I probably want to grab another frontline fighter. To training! Take us 20 days, but we're going to put a cut in there, folks. If you have liked, please push the like button. If you wish to subscribe, please press the subscription button. You can follow me on Twitter, you can follow me on Steam, or leave a comment in the comment section, and I shall get back to you as we dive into the next story of Wild Myth. Also, please remember, folks, that this game is still in early access, so any changes, there are potential changes, other bits and pieces that can come in the in the next well, the next coming months, which will alter things in the game, potentially. So please remember that. And I shall see you all again next time. Goodbye.